Another thing that's a factor in our shortage in rentals is that many are forced to rent. People have had short sales, other parts of the state, they've had, you know, difficulties, whatever it is. They're just moving here and they're self-employed, but they're making good money or whatever. Bottom line is they can't get a loan. Um, and, of course, the highest job growth in the nation has caused this uh, incredible migration. One of the things that we've also seen is I talked to Kent Zarbach, president of the of DR Horton here, largest builder, and also spoke to April Solomine, who's the vice president of Meritage Homes and another major builder here. They both agreed to the fact that we have a labor shortage, so that's driving labor prices up. We have a material shortage because no one knew that their, our economy was going to take the turn and, and as quickly as it had, especially here in Austin. And we have a lot shortage. I still don't see bulldozers out there turning up the ground, making up new lots. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's, uh, there's not as much investment money in, in doing improved lots. So, the, um, so that's, where we're, that's where we're looking at is, is that the, the builders are forced to raise their prices. And it, I saw in Highland Park North, which is a community in Pflugerville, I was out looking in that area, a basic bottom line home in that area, brand new with D.R. Horton last year with 135. Same models, 160. So, you know, we have to be careful too, because if the prices go up too quick, it doesn't make it as an advantage for the rentals. And but there are certain areas that we target a lot that that would be an area that has great rental rates and new or or a couple years old. I think our sweet spot, Rick, is a five or six year old home or three or four year old home that's got that's got the bells and whistles that can be bought at a, at less than what you could build it. Well, that always be the sweet spot, and especially if it's one story, sixteen hundred to eighteen hundred square feet. You're right, Ken. Yeah, and and so you know those those are the kinds of things, and you know a little bit. Oh, I don't want to go too big. I don't want to go too small. I, I kind of try to stay out of the low end too far because you seem seem to get a lot more turnover, and um, it seems to me that middle middle medium price range, which right now is just over two hundred thousand, you know, one hundred seventy five to two hundred thousand seems to be the the sweet spot. Um, so, anyways, with all those things coming into play, we have a, a rental housing shortage.